This has huge potential for stable diffusion. Hello my friends, how are you doing? Today I'm going to show you a new training method that is called UniFL and has really interesting concepts to get much more quality but also faster image generation. Then I also want to show you a new sampler for Euler that you can use inside of Automatic 1111 today. But before we start that, I have created two workflows. One of them creates these abstract patterns on an image with masks. The other one actually animates these masks so that you can create abstract background motions. And I also created a 20 minute video for that to explain how everything works inside of the workflow. That's a pattern in your world. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. Let's first talk about UniFL, which has a really interesting concept to train stable diffusion models. Down here, you can see these sample images with the prompt below that. Most of them trained with only four steps and I have also here bigger versions you can look at. The quality is very nice. And another thing that stands out here is the aesthetic, how nice it feels, how warm it is, how emotionally that is. This is something that stable diffusion often lacks with their image generations, with their models. It's a little bit more cooler and a little bit more distant compared to what mid journey can generate as images. And they have actually some interesting tricks up their sleeve. By the way, also, they tested this on animate diff, which is pretty cool with UniFL 12 step. If we look here at a bigger version, you can realize that this has really nice potential for the animation because this is very detailed and the progression of these clouds of ink underwater, the way this progresses looks really good. Very, very nice. Here we have also this image of a dancing girl also looking very good, very consistent. The hair is also very nice and again, aesthetically very pleasing so from what you can see from the colors, from the composition, from how consistent everything is. They also point out in their abstract that this is compared to LCM and SDXL Turbo faster by 57% for LCM and 20% for Stable Diffusion XL Turbo. And down here, you can see the pipeline. The interesting thing they're doing here is they're using an input image for training. Then they convert it into latent space, of course, and then they inject noise to generate a more random seat and then also do some style transfer if that is the thing they want to achieve. And the way they test if the result is good is both by segmentation and then also by gram. Gram is more looking for is the style what we wanted to achieve. And here you can see the interesting concept that is being used. So we have the input image and this has generated a segmentation map of that boy here with the arm extended. Now this is then generated an AI image and also generating this segmentation map. And then both of these segmentation maps are compared to each other as how close they are, how much they resemble each other, which is very interesting because that actually gives the model in the training a better understanding of what is actually happening inside of the image. It's giving it a lot more guidance. You can also see here with the skateboarder down there, a segmentation map, and then we have the rendered image, which completely doesn't have that pose in there. And this can be compared then to train and make the model basically understand that this is the pose that is supposed to be there when the skateboarder jumps. So this is a lot more detailed from the feedback. Another thing they're using here is perceptual feedback learning. Now this is more about the style. So if you want to have a style transfer, for example, down here with the family, where you go from a photo to a classic painting style. And again, this is looking at comparing the style with a method called gram to see how close is it to the style. And then both of these learning methods are compared to create a much more interesting and better result that is more coherent to the composition, to 
the characters in the image, but also to the style you want to create as the image. Another method they're using is adversarial feedback learning. This is mostly about the speed of the generation to make the generation process faster and use less steps. So again, here you can see examples of what is being generated with the different steps of one step, two step, four step, eight step. But also I would say at the same time, if you compare that to the classic SDXL with 25 steps, it is much more closer to what the prompt actually said with the light bulb in outer space with the sailboat inside. Now, SDXL didn't really capture any of that while their method actually has that in there. LCM picked up a little bit on that and SDXL Turbo got it almost right, but the galaxy is inside of the light bulb instead of the light bulb being inside of the galaxy. They also have comparisons down here to other methods. Now for the Bloody Mary cocktail, I actually could get something pretty similar with community trained lightning models for SDXL. However, for this panda sitting on a horse reading a book with the wizard head, I really got these results with lightning also that are completely falling apart, not at all creating what the prompt is saying. And their results actually pretty nice. So I can't wait for these models to actually get out there so we can play around with them and also of course use it with our own training and community trained models. There is some amazing stuff ahead of us. Now, the other thing I want to show you today is called Euler SMEA Dyn Sampler. And this is mostly supposed to be used with a model that is called EX2K. I don't like to use that model because no matter what I tried in the prompt, it always would create a small girl. So not a fan of that model. I tried it with other models like Ref Animated and tried around for two hours. Now, as far as I understand from their GitHub page, this is mostly about these kind of complex hand poses. In some regards, it seems to be nice at that. I am not an anime guy. I don't generate anime images, so I couldn't really recreate the results that they are getting here. However, if you want to give that a try yourself, this is very easy to install in Automatic 11.11. The only thing you need is the GitHub link. You go to your Automatic 11.11 extensions tab to install from URL, put the URL in here and hit install. After this has happened and everything is installed, you go here to installed, click apply and restart UI. And then in the text to image tab or also the other tabs in the sampling method, you can see that at the end of the list, you have these four new methods that can be used to generate the images. Now from the comparison results that I got, it's sometimes nicer than the other images. You can see here some comparisons. There we have some other images in this case actually kind of worked pretty good to get a nicer image with a nicer pose and a better hand. And here we have another example where it kind of worked pretty well to create these kind of images more consistently. However, I also often had the problem that instead of generating the image I want to have, this is putting that in kind of a picture frame for some reason as a photo, as a painting, as something that hangs at the wall. So kind of strange why it is doing that. However, truth to be told, Nietzsche 6 on Mid Journey blew that out of the water right away with a simpler prompt, no negative prompt in there. You can see super nice and stylish. Here is another image from the same role. Again, looks really beautiful. And another image from the same role. And another image from the same role. All of them, I would say, look much better and have better hands, better composition, better understanding of the prompts. Let me know in the comments what you think about this new sampling method. Maybe I'm missing something. Join my live stream tomorrow where we're certainly going to experiment with cool AI methods. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah, 